Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at something called the discriminant. Now, this is something you wouldn't have seen before in GCSE Maths, but it follows on quite nicely from the quadratic formula, so I thought we'd take a little look at it, and we can also get ahead for A-level at the same time. So, you can see here in red I've written down the quadratic formula, and a part of this formula is so useful to us that it gets its own name, okay? And the part of the formula that is, is this bit inside of the square root, this b squared minus 4ac. And we call this part of the formula the discriminant, right? And it's so useful to us because it allows us to see how many roots or how many solutions our quadratic equation is going to have. And it's actually pretty easy to see why that's the case. So let's say we input our values of a, b, and c from our quadratic. And we get that the discriminant, so b squared minus 4ac, I'll write it out, b squared minus 4ac, is a positive number. So it's strictly greater than 0. Well, if that's the case, we can calculate this square root and we'd get negative b plus whatever the square root is divided by 2a and negative b minus whatever the square root is divided by 2a and that would give us two real solutions so we could say well if the discriminant is positive we have two real roots okay or two real solutions i'll write roots another case could be that our discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero right and if that's the case well the square root of zero is just zero and so negative b plus 0 and negative b minus 0, well, this square root might as well not be there because it's just negative b. And so that means we get that x is equal to negative b divided by 2a. And that's just going to give us one solution. So if our discriminant is equal to 0, we're just going to get one real root or one real solution. Now, finally, we could have that this b squared minus 4ac is a negative number, so it's strictly less than 0. And if that's the case, we've got negative b plus or minus the square root of a negative number. And well, at least at this stage, we can't calculate the square root of a negative number. And so we can say it has no real solutions or no real roots. OK, and we can say that like so. So in terms of an exam question at A-level, you'd probably be given a quadratic with one of the coefficients missing. And it would say something like this quadratic equation has two real roots. Calculate the coefficient of x squared. And you could use the fact that the discriminant is going to be greater than zero to find that missing value. But just to give us some more context and show us what this means graphically, we're going to take a look at three pretty basic examples. So here we have y equals x squared plus x minus six. And you can see I've drawn a nice sketch of this graph on the right hand side. And so you can see from the graph it has two real solutions or two real roots. You can see it intersects with the x axis twice. So let's calculate the discriminant and we should expect it to be greater than zero. So the discriminant is b squared minus four times a times c. So what is our value of a? Well, that's just the coefficient of x squared, so it's one. Our value of b is the coefficient of x, so that's also one. And our constant c on the end is just gonna be negative six. So let's input that into the discriminant. So we get b squared, so one squared minus four times a, which is one times c, which is negative six. Now let's sort of work this out. So we've got one subtract four times one times negative six, which is negative 24. So now we've got one subtract negative 24, which is the same as one plus 24, which gives us 25 and 25 is greater than zero. So we can say, therefore, there are two real roots. And you can see from the graph that that makes sense. So if our discriminant is greater than zero, the graph is going to hit the x axis twice. Let's take a look at another example here. So we've got y equals x squared minus 8x plus 16. And you can see again, I've drawn a lovely sketch of that graph. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So let's find our values of a, b, and c. So a is the coefficient of x squared, so it's one. Our b is the coefficient of x, so it's negative eight. And c is our constant on the end, so it's 16. Let's input this into the discriminant. So we've got negative eight squared minus four times one times 16. And so if we simplify this, negative eight squared is positive 64 minus four times 16, which is also 64. And so we get that it's equal to zero. And so therefore, if our discriminant is zero, we can say therefore one real root. And you can see there is, right? There's one part where the uh, graph touches the x-axis and that's representing that one real root. So if our discriminant is equal to zero, you can expect our quadratic graph to just touch the x-axis once. Now let's look at this final example where we have y equals x squared minus two x plus four. And again, let's use the discriminant, b squared minus four ac. So a is gonna be equal to one, b is equal to negative two, and c is equal to four. Input them in, so b squared, so negative two squared, minus four times a times c. And let's work it out. We've got negative two squared is four, minus four times four, which is 16. And so when we work this out, we get a negative number. Okay, so we get negative 12, which is less than zero. Therefore, we can say no 
real roots. And so what that means graphically is that our quadratic graph isn't going to touch the x-axis at all. You can see in this case it's above the x-axis. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share. And go over to my channel for tons more A-level maths tutorials. And I'll link my Preparing for A-level maths playlist in the description so you can carry on watching it and hopefully get a head start for A-level maths. Thanks for watching.